How's it going everybody? I am the Texas Man. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. And also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit that bell notification button so you guys do not miss out on a single video coming out in the future here on the Texas Man channel. Oh boy. As you guys can probably tell, this is going to be a butcher video because I'm wearing my helmet. I did not like watching this movie and the only reason I reviewed it was for a friend of mine. So we're going to talk about The Crow from 1994 and as always we're going to talk about positives, negatives, and then I'll give you guys my final review score. Let's get into it. So first of all, for positives, I feel like this film has a very dark and edgy um, approach to it. It's a very dark and edgy type of film, and I like it for that. Brandon Lee's performance is just phenomenal. He's a talented actor, and uh, I'm sad that he's passed away. He was very good in this film, even fantastic to some people's standards, including myself. Um, this joke, I'm sorry, this film has a lot of jokes in it, and uh, my favorite one was that onions will make you fart. <laughs> so that was my favorite one. It was super funny. There's a lot of awesome rock songs in this film. It has a lot of good action. Some people consider it decent. I consider it pretty good. Um, the fight scenes and the choreography is also really well done. Um, unfortunately, that's all I have to say for positives. This is a watch once and done type of film, for me at least. I understand that people find this film to be a cult classic. For me... I struggled a lot to actually watch this film from start to finish. The fact that this movie is an hour and 41 minutes long drove me insane. And I will be completely honest with you, I saw this movie a week ago and I don't remember anything about it that made me st that st stuck in my brain. Nothing on nothing in this film stands out to me. Nothing in this film makes me say go watch this this is a must see the opening 10 to 15 minutes doesn't establish any characters or any plot for you to actually care about yes there's characters and there's things happening and there's supposed to be a plot of events taking place but it is a gigantic mess of a film and i just don't care about it the plot is mind-numbingly boring and it is so bad, I could have written it myself, but thousand times better. This film also has an abundance of language. Yes, I understand it's rated R, but there is so much language in this film. It really got to a point within the first like 20 minutes of the film that my ears were hurting. There are so many F-bombs in this film. I don't understand why they did that. It's just completely unneeded. It's just F this, F that, F, 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 F. And I'm like, if you can't come up with something more interesting for someone to say, for a character to say, for dialogue, just have them do something else. Or rewrite your script completely or trash the film. Because this movie, honestly, almost is trash. Uh, most of the characters are extremely weak. Their, their character arcs are bad. And they're very two-dimensional. Um, I also have to say that this film has nudity. Um, it doesn't show you anything, but it's all in your brain. Like, it'll show you things. Um, and your mind will fill in the gaps. So, yeah. it's There's some nudity in this, so be aware of that. Um, some questions that never get answered in this film is, like, how does Eric come back to life? How and why does he have normal clothes on when he comes out of the grave? Like, he's got... A pants and shirts on and i'm like i'm pretty sure people don't get buried with normal average day clothes i'm pretty sure they get buried in the suit uh this film also doesn't answer how eric gets his powers by coming back to life uh this film also doesn't show you honestly much good backstory uh this film uses an abundance of of confusing flashback scenes to give character backstory and honestly because of so much flashing going on for the flashback scenes it honestly was starting to give me a migraine 
and I couldn't keep my eyes focused on the screen. Also, the characters' motivations and backstory for why they're doing what they're doing and hopefully trying to get to a certain point is not explained well at all. Um, I, I honestly was bored after the first 15, 20 minutes of this film, guys. Uh, I know I'm not talking much about the plot and spoilers and all that type of stuff because there's nothing in this film plot wise that makes any coherent sense there's not a beginning middle and an end i honestly also don't understand why a trilogy of these films were made especially since the main actor brandon lee passed away shortly after this film was done filming they had to replace them and bring in somebody else for the Crow 2 and 3, for lack of better terms. Um, I don't even know what they're called because I don't care. But I'm just like... <sighs> I will tell you, I had to watch this film in chunks. I had to watch... I watched the first 20 minutes and then I had to walk away and do something else. And I came back and watched it in like another 2-3 to three hours. I had to watch this thing in chunks. I couldn't watch this from beginning to end because this movie is so bad. And... Honestly, the more I watched it, the more my score went down for this film. I cannot understand why this film was made. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. There's nothing in this film that is enjoyable in the sense of filmmaking. They just made a film because I guess they wanted to, but <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it. So, with that, guys, I'm giving The Crow 1994 a 4 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your guys' love and support. You guys all have an amazing day. Bye, guys.